This video will show you how to use the CPAT Flex mobile app to locate Ingress. So once you've logged in using the same login credentials that you would use on a website, you get to this screen and from here you choose the Ingress icon. And the first thing you do is in the top menu, you select the correct ITX2 from the pull down menu. So I'm choosing this unit. You can choose by the serial number or by the vehicle number, which is in brackets. Next, you can choose the ingress receiver. In this case, it's an IRXP portable unit. So I can see that this unit is showing me that the battery level is at 96%. I'm getting two out of four bars for cellular signal. And that the stat, this status information is nine minutes old. So now to start searching for ingress, I'm going to turn on my ingress tr transmitter and you'll hear that it starts to beep. Now we're going to be paying attention to the speed of the beeps. So it is now ranging to get the, uh, to, to, to find the lowest and highest level that it has received. And when it's at the top of its range, as is now, it's beeping faster. So if I start to move a little closer, you'll see that the beeping continues to be fast, but that also that the upper level keeps changing and it is auto ranging. So if I now move further away, you'll see that the beeping slows down and it moves down to the lower end of the range. And so it's using a slower beep. So the criteria for finding this is you're gonna be looking for that audible beeping speed to see how close you're getting to the ingress source. Now here I'm getting to a point where I am basically hitting the maximum level. So this would be getting close to, uh, very close to the leakage source. So what I can do is I can then manually turn down the level on my transmitter so that even though I am just as close, the level is actually lower. And what that lets me do is I can now use, get much closer to the actual source and figure out to help me pinpoint it. So you would use the high transmit level on the ITX2 at, when you're at greater distances and you would use the lower level. So now if I turn this off, you'll hear that the beeping stops. And then on the bottom of the screen, I can see the graph that shows the levels over time. So if I need to do, to, to get, I want to see what one my, my peak and what my minimum was, I can see it there. So that is a quick overview of how to use the, the CPAT Flex mobile app.